Good evening, and welcome to another one of my episodes of A Verse a Day Keeps the Muslims Away. Uh, today I'd like to discuss angels in Islam. As you might be aware, angels is, is a very important topic in Islam. As a matter of fact, if it were not for an angel, the entire Quran would not have been revealed to Muhammad, being that the angel Gabriel, al Malak Jibreel, was the one who helped Muhammad get the Quran, or <clears throat> the message down to Muhammad. Um, now, before I go start talking about angels, I want to talk about the Quran itself. Uh, Allah chose Arabic. He chose that the language of the Quran should be Arabic. Uh, that is the language that Allah chose. Um, why did he do it? I don't know. Perhaps maybe because the, it was the language of the tribes that wrote this book. But nevertheless, Allah decided to unite the Quran, to reveal the Quran in Arabic. Which is why, even up until today, it cannot be translated. It can only be explained, you know, one column in Arabic and right next to it is a column in the other language. Um, <clears throat> okay, so keeping that in mind, that every single word in the Quran must be Arabic and not Ajamiya. al kalimat Ajamiya, that means foreign words. Uh, supposedly the Quran does not contain a single foreign word. Well, you know what? Let's go ahead and take a look at one of your most important figures. Or let's take a look at some of the angels. Um, <clears throat> let's start with me, Mike. Michael, um, the angel Michael, in Arabic, Mikhail. Uh, Mikhail is mentioned in the Quran by name once and only once, and that is in Surah Al-Baqarah, Surah number two, verse number ninety-eight, where it talks about <clears throat> whoever's the enemy of Allah and his angels and his apostles and Jibril and Mikhail. So surely Allah is the enemy of the unbelievers. So <clears throat> here we have the name Mikhail which exists in the Qur'an. Now let's break down that name. Mikhail is not an Arabic word at all. It's a word in Hebrew. It's mi ha el First of all, all these angels that end, end with the word El, El means God in Hebrew. Uh, mi, the first part, Mi, is just like the Arabic word Mim or Men. Mi is who. Ka is like. El is God. So, mi ka el, mi ka el, that's mi men ka Allah, who is like God. And that is the definition of the word of the angel um, Michael. It's he who is like God. So, so now we have angel, angel Michael, Mikhail, in the Quran, but his name is not Arabic. His name is Hebrew. Now, let's, let's look at Gabriel, Jibreel, or Jibrail. Again, it, it is a Hebrew word. It comes from the Hebrew, gavar, which means an overpower, to overcome the power. As it comes from the verb, likbor, uh, uh, which is to overcome, to overpower. So, which is why, givrael uh, uh, is the power of God. And also can mean the man of God, you know, from, from gever. Uh, since essentially he was, you know, God's man. Uh, let's take a look at another angel, um, Azrael. It's actually not mentioned by name. He's not mentioned by name in the Quran, but mentioned in every other place in uh, Al Hadith. In the in the in the Quran, he's mentioned as Malak Al Maut, the angel of death. However, in Islam, there's yet another archangel whose name is uh, Azrael. Now, do you think this is an Arabic word? Do you think it comes from Azar? Does that even make any, any sense to you? How about let's, let's look at the Hebrew. Uh, Ozer. Uh, Ozer is help. God's help. Ezer, Azrael is the help of God. Since Allah sends down Azrael to, to do his dirty work, to do his dirty business, the, his angel of death. He writes down when people are born, when they die, and goes and picks them up or something. I'm not sure what he does with them. But that's who Azrael is. Uh, the last one I'm going to go look at is the angel Raphael. Uh, Raphael. Raphael. And again, that is not an Arabic word. That is a Hebrew word. It comes from the verb, uh, let me see, Lafe, which means to heal. And his his definition, the, name, the definition of his name, even in any of the religions, is he is the healer of God. Rafa El. 
So again, we have all these words now in Islam that are kalimat uh, ajamiyya, foreign words that have come in into Islam, especially in Jibra'il. Um, yeah, you try to do this whole trick of Jabrutullah, the power of God. Uh, no, that comes from Hebrew. Uh, because il means nothing in Arabic. Il, el is God. Allah, ilah, el. Actually, I want to go back to the angel Gabriel. Uh, this is actually really funny. In Sahih al-Bukhari, book number 54, narration number 455, it is narrated that the prophet had seen Gabriel having six hundred wings. Not two, not seven, but six hundred. Some, some of the other angels that, we, that the Islam has is um, Al-Malik, uh, which is, he is the guardian, guardian of hell, and he guards hell with his other 19 names or whatever. Um, <clears throat> Malik is the owner. That is an Arabic word. Um, Ridwan. Ridwan, he, he is um, the maintainer of heaven. It comes from Rida. Rida means uh, satisfaction, or, yeah, satisfaction, or, so, being in heaven is satisfaction. And then you, ha <clears throat> then you have somebody, then you have the angels, Al al Munkir and Nakir. And those are the two angels that, once you die, even if your body is blown up, they come to your grave and they ask you and inquire you and test your, um, <clears throat> they test your faith. Uh, that comes from the Arabic word, Nakara, Nakara, which is to, to deny to denounce, to disbelieve. So again, that is an Arabic word. So now we have some angels where they are, they do exist in Arabic. But then again, there's two other angels that were sent down to the Babylonians to test, to test their faith because they were supposed to have been practicing sorcery. And you find that again in Surah Al-Baqarah, Surah number two, verse number 102, and that is Harut and Marut. And as far as I know, Harut, Marut, sounds more Armenian to me than anything, anything else. It's probably in Aramaic names or Assyrian names. Uh, those are not Arabic names. Um, harata, Marata, if, if you can find me a verb in Arabic that, that the, you know, the trilateral rule that corresponds with that, then go for it. That's all I have for today. Thank you very much for joining, and I'll see you soon. Bye.